Yo, what is going on guys? Jahim S here and welcome to another episode of WWE 2K18 My Career. Today we are facing TJ Perkins, a cruiserweight, getting a shot here on the quote-unquote main roster. Um, So can TJP actually defeat their cruiserweight, I mean not the cruiserweight, the universal champion? We will find out. Jahim once again getting the upper hand. Last episode we had an amazing match against Roman Reigns. Reigns came out on top. Securing him a shot in the ranks for the Universal title. And Jaheim now the knee to the face of TJ Perkins. And a bicycle knee strike to take him down. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, Reigns put us out. He knocked us out cold last week. And TJ Perkins with the quick strikes. Jaheim with a knee to the gut. And the quick strikes of his own. Um, so Reigns is now the number two contender for our Universal title. Right now, it's still Aleister Black. We have not seen Aleister Black since WrestleMania. He has not been backstage. Um, he hasn't been in the arena at all. We don't know why. Only Triple H and his fellow authorities, if that's even a word, which it's not, um, knows. You know, because Aleister is part of the authority here in my career. So only Triple H should know what's going on with him. Um, TJ Perkins looking to powerbomb Jaheim who takes him down with a bulldog instead. Jaheim now with the Irish whip to TJ. Uh, you can't ever do that, man, I swear. Jaheim has TJ Perkins up top. Fireman's carry neckbreaker. And immediately going after the head, but TJ Perkins with an elbow. You can see how slow he got up. He's hurt. But Jaheim with the fireman's carry. And again, has him up top in the fireman's carry position. This time, for a roundhouse kick. And TJ Perkins might be out. He could be out cold right there. One. And only a count of one. And TJ Perkins showing why he was the first ever Cruiserweight Champion. Jaheim turning him around. For the ripcord. Knee strike into the cover. One. Two. And TJ Perkins gets the shoulder off the mat. TJ Perkins putting up quite a fight. Quite a fight and Jaheim looked like he was not expecting this from a cruiserweight. Jaheim himself is just a light heavyweight. Oh, I went for the finisher. TJ Perkins with the Irish whip to Jaheim and a huge drop kick. Straight to his chest. Now TJ stomping him out. TJ Perkins the snap near to Jaheim. Oh, what is this? Is this a submission? TJ wrenching in that upper body of JS Danger. Jaheim with the elbows trying to fight off TJP. And dragging him over. Jaheim is hurt. You can see him holding that arm. But he gets out. He has to be feeling good at getting out. Staying on the attack with TJ with the eye rake to JS Danger. But Jaheim with the knee to the gut. And the crossbody strikes. Jaheim is angry now. TJ just used an illegal move on him. We have, however, seen Jaheim do illegal moves of his own. So he can't really be too mad at that. Um, Jaheim. Nope. Jaheim's going up top. Went for the imploded 450 splash. A move used by a fellow cruiserweight of TJP's, Mustafa Ali. And Jaheim trying to pick up TJ Perkins, but Perkins gets behind him. And TJ has Jaheim up top, fireman's carry position. Detonation kick. The move he used to put away so many before. Will Jaheim be able to kick out though? That's the real question. Going for the pin. One. And only a count of one. And Jaheim gets the shoulder up. TJ Perkins is fighting. We did not expect him to do this good. Kurt Angle has decided to give the Cruiserweight shots on the main roster. Starting off with TJ Perkins. And TJ's doing good right now. Elbow to the head from Jaheim. Jaheim with the Pele kick. Cruiserweights like TJP are usually fast, very agile, and quick on their feet. But so is the Universal Champion, Jaheim. Jaheim now might be looking to make TJ Perkins tap out. Can he do it though? Neckbreaker into the last chancery. Can TJ Perkins escape it? Can he do it? TJP. And Perkins gets out of it. But his head is hurt. His head is very hurt. Jaheim picking up TJ Perkins. Overhead belly to belly to TJ. 
Should have stayed down, TJ. You should have stayed down. Johnny went for a kick to the gut. TJ Perkins caught it. Taking him down. Is this the STF? Are you kidding me? TJ Perkins now trying to make Jaheim tap out. Can he do it, though? But Jaheim is powering it out. He is overpowering the first ever Cruiserweight champion. And now Jaheim has TJ Perkins in position for whatever the hell that was. One, two, and Perkins kicks out. TJP being very resilient right now. He wants to make sure that the Cruiserweights are known on the main roster. He wants to make sure that people actually start liking 205 Live. He has this shot to make him and the fellow Cruiserweights be heard. Can he do it though? Look at this. Jaheim has Perkins for the O'Connor roll German suplex into the cover. One, two, and Perkins kicks out. Jaheim now turning around TJ. Picking him up in position for the ripcord knee strike. TJ Perkins is being very resilient. He is not staying down. And I, neither is Shaheen. Both men want to win. And if either one loses now, it will be very sad, actually. Perkins now with the fireman's carry to Jaheen. I don't know, man. This match isn't as good as I thought it would be, in all honesty. Perkins with the Irish whip. Sparing Jaheim off the apron to the outside. Is Perkins trying to win by DQ? The ref finally starting his count. But Perkins going to the outside, waiting for Jaheim to get up, breaking the count. Maybe he doesn't want to win by DQ. Jaheim with a kick to the gut. Perkins back in the ring. Jaheim off the ropes with the kin Sasha to TJ Perkins. That could be it. One, two, three. And just like that, the winner. Your two-time WWE Universal Champion, JS Dangerous. Oh, that was a decent match. I'm not going to lie. Perkins put up a good fight. But in the end, the Universal Champion came out on top. He put up a good fight, man. He put up a good fight. Oh. Also, guys, we are two weeks away from the Payback Pay-Per-View. We have maybe one or two more matches before then. But for now, Jaheim has to be taking it in. He has just defeated TJ Perkins. But here comes Roman Reigns. The man who defeated Jaheim last week. Taking him down from behind with a clothesline. And Jaheim now with the dragon screw. Still fighting back. I'm sure he wasn't expecting Roman Reigns to attack. But he is on the attack right now. Jaheim with a snap German suplex to Reigns. Roman Reigns doesn't look like he thought this through. He had a good match earlier tonight against Sheamus. A headbutt to the head to Jaheim. Going for the belly to belly. Jaheim fighting out of it. Overpowering Roman Reigns. And now an overhead belly to belly of his own. The ref trying to stop these two men. But he is not daring to go in that ring. Jaheim turning around Roman Reigns. For the ripcord knee strike. Reigns might not have thought this through all the way. He might not have thought this through. At all actually. Shaheem now putting Roman Reigns on the rope. What is he thinking about? Throwing Reigns out of the ring. Shaheem just had a decent match against TJ. But Shaheem's not done. Heat seeking drop kick. Heat seeking missile. Heat seek I, I don't know. Wrecking ball drop kick. It's one of those. And Shaheem takes down Roman Reigns. Your universal champion. What does this mean though? We still have not heard from Aleister Black. You know, who knows? He might not be in the title picture anymore. He might not even be here tonight. Um, Reigns defeated Jaheim last week and now attacked him. We will see where this takes us. I hope you guys all enjoyed another episode of WWE 2K18 My Career. Sorry if the commentary and the gameplay was a little weird in this episode. I don't know what I was thinking about fighting TJ. He is a good uh, opponent, but it wasn't that great of a match. I hope you guys all enjoyed nonetheless, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.